to my channel today we are going to discuss chapter 5 electromagnetic induction so in this video we were going to discuss the example 1 magnetic flux okay so magnetic flux here we have two equations the first one is the magnetic flux equals to b dot a or we can write it as b a cos theta okay where the angle here must be between vector b and also vector a okay so every time when you want to find the directions of the vector a remember you must find vector a must perpendicular come up from the plane first okay it must be 90 degree from the plane okay okay next we also have the magnetic flux linkage so okay, the magnetic flux linkage is equal to n flux okay so example one here the figure shows a type of a flat surface so this is the surface of the plane where the area is 3 cm square is placed in a uniform magnetic field the plane surface makes an angle of 30 degree with the directions of the magnetic field if the magnetic flux through the surface here is 0.9 milli weber okay so here this is the magnetic flux uh, okay and it's in milli uh, okay calculate the magnitude of the magnetic field so we want to find what is the value for b okay so since we have a we have the angle theta and we have phi so we can use the magnetic flux equals to b a cos theta okay where magnetic flux is 0.9 milli so it's exponent negative 3 B is the unknown. Okay, A is 3 cm squared. So it's 3 times power of negative 2. But remember, there's a square. So it becomes negative 4. Okay, cos theta. So the angle theta here must be between vector A and also vector B. Okay, vector A and also vector B. Where our B here is to the right. And vector A must come up perpendicular from the plate. Okay, so this is the theta that we want to find. Okay, so since here is 30 degree, meaning that this part will be 60 degree. Okay, so our theta is actually equal to 60 degree. So we substitute inside cos 60 degree. Therefore, B, we will get 6 Tesla. Okay, so here we don't need to give the directions because they ask only magnitude. Okay, so this is example 1. Here we go to so example 2. A single turn of the rectangular coin, the side is 10 cm cross times 5 cm, is placed between the north south pole of the permanent magnet. So initially, the plane of the coin is parallel to the magnetic field. Okay, so initially it's parallel, meaning that uh, B is from north to south. So initially, B is from north to south, and our plane is parallel, okay, to the magnetic field. Okay, after that, if the coin then turn 90 degree about the exit, and the magnetic flux density is 1.5 tesla. So now they ask us to find the change in the magnetic flux. Change meaning that we need to find initial minus final. Okay, so case one is plane is parallel to the magnetic field case 2 is it is 90 degree to the magnetic field okay so this is v1 where is equal to n b a cos theta okay so if you want to find theta you must find out the directions of the area first where is always 90 degree to the plane okay so for this case cos the angle between vector a and b is cos 90 degree so when 90 degree meaning that we will get zero weber Okay, then phi final also equals to n b a cos theta, where the angle theta must be between vector a and b. Yeah? So our vector a is come up perpendicular to the plane. So now vector a and vector b are parallel to each other. So it's cos zero degree. Okay, therefore we substitute in n is equal to one. Okay, b is uh, one point five. Area is ten cm and five cm. So it's zero point one times zero point zero five cos. 0 is 1. Okay, therefore our final magnetic flux is equal to 7.5 exponent negative 3 Weber. So now we want to find the changes. So changes here must be final minus initial. Okay, where our final is 7.5 exponent negative 3 and the initial is 0. Therefore we will get back 7.5 exponent negative 3 Weber. Okay, so this is the change in the magnetic flux through the coin. Okay, so next we'll go to example 3. Okay, example 3 here, we have 3 loops. Okay, so uh, loop 1, swing back and forth of the board on a simple pendulum. Okay, loop 2 rotates about the vertical exit. Okay, loop 3 oscillate vertically up and down. Okay, up and down. Just now, this one is rotating, this one is go in and out. Okay, which loop or loops have the magnetic flux that change with the time? Okay, so magnetic flux here is equal to B A cos theta. Okay, where for this case, loop 1, loop 2, loop 3, B is constant. Okay, similar with the area. Okay, area for loop 1, loop 2, loop 3 also constant. So actually, if you want to find the changes of the magnetic flux, okay, actually it depends on, okay, it depends on the changes of the angle here. 
okay so we must find which one that is the changes of the angle here okay so now if let's say we view from the side view let's say this is my eye a okay, view from the side view the magnetic field line it will go out from the page okay so the first one is the first coin is going in uh, back and forth meaning that it will go okay it will go in this direction okay back and forth okay meaning that that actually there's no changing of the angle okay look to okay look to initially the coin is at, okay is at this angle after that when it turns it will move in this direction and then it will move in the other direction and then it will go back to okay it will go back to the original so meaning that the angle here actually is changing for the angle here actually changing for loop two okay okay loop three is going up and down so this is the coin it will only go up and down okay so the b the enter still the same eh? because the angle still the same therefore loop two is actually changing okay the angle of loop two is actually changing so we can write actually loop two okay loop two have the magnetic flux that change with the time eh? because the okay because the angle keep changing okay so when you rotate okay the angle of this one is always changing so the answer is loop two okay so that's all for uh 5.1 we will go to 5.2 in use see you on next video bye